All right, my name is Jake Algar. I'm in uh, second year assistant professor in ecology and evolutionary biology. And a central sort of tagline that I use is, is applying ecological theory to help solve real world conservation problems. And so the idea is that we can still test basic ecological science that's cutting edge, but we can sort of direct it towards applying it to conservation issues that are occurring throughout the world. One of the more fundamental, or one of the fundamental questions of, this was supposed to be a video. That's a bummer. So, one of the fundamental questions of my research is what are drivers of productivity in tropical coastal ecosystems? And um, so, so, my previous work has shown that fishes, uh, animals in general, and coral reefs provide some of the largest sources of the, of the limiting nutrients that fuel the productivity of these highly productive systems. They're some of the most productive ecosystems on the planet. And so, that leads to the second question is how can we leverage this knowledge um, to improve conservation efforts? So, in, in essence, what I'm trying to do is capitalize on this sustainable resource, so these nutrients provided by animals, and use it towards conservation to help rebuild, uh, restore habitats, and rebuild fisheries. So what happens is in the video, the fish swim along, and you can kind of imagine them peeing nutrients as you're trailing behind them. That's the dance. Um, so I work in, um, again, tropical coastal ecosystems, coral reefs, mangroves, seagrass beds, and import importantly, people are involved in these systems. So very central to my work is this socio-ecological system. I don't, I don't try to disintegrate them at all. I try to keep them together when I think about the system as a whole. I, um, it's, it's important to note that, that these are some of the most productive ecosystems on the planet, and um, they provide tremendous resources for both people locally in terms of fisheries and many other resources, but also two of these ecosystems, core, uh, mangroves and seagrass beds, are per unit area the largest sequesters of carbon in the world. So they're extremely important for global carbon cycles as well. So my research takes place largely in the Caribbean and Central Pacific. So a lot of the sort of theory-based work takes place in the Bahamas and French Polynesia. And then we try to take that, that information and apply it more directly into sort of conservation research that we're doing in Haiti. So this was also supposed to be a video, and I'm not going to swim like these fish, but one of the main approaches that we use is experimental in building artificial reefs. And basically what these do is they create a sort of analog for coral reefs that we can then, in a very tractable setting, study the processes of energy flow and nutrient dynamics and begin to estimate productivity on this sort of small scale ecosystem. But then we can use observation, statistical analysis, and compile all this data uh, to parameterize ecosystem models that we can then use to forecast ecological outcomes. And again, a key part of my research is that in every step of the way we include community engagement because the key to all of this is conservation will not work if there's not buy-in from the people. And so we try to continually keep that as part of the whole research program. Uh, and the classes that, man, is that quick? The classes that I teach are ecosystem ecology and coastal ecology and sustainability. 